Okay, so I decided to go out solo this morning and complete the push challenge. So I got up early and left the girls sleeping on today's Greybeard Bike. So, number one for today was going back to West Bend Harley Davidson. Now, I didn't take a bunch of new footage here, being as I was just here the day before, but I will tell you what happened. When I got there, I was able to check in, but they had run out of chips. Same as Wisconsin Harley the day before, but they were going to mail it to me. I began to see this as a reoccurring theme. Speaking of reoccurring themes, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, all of that stuff. It helps us out with the YouTube authorities. Comment below. We'd love to hear from you. If you see yourself or your bike in any of our videos, please always let us know in the comments. So next I went to Milwaukee Harley Davidson and they either didn't have as many vendors or they were already packed up and leaving town. Still, I was able to check in and got the promise again of a mailed challenge chip. They too also sold out of dealership poker chips. How are you? Hi there, good. I oh check in with you. Yes, you do. Let's see, have you been to Suburban yet or are you gonna go there? That's next. All right. <laughs> There's that. And they're mailing the poker chips. Uh, I heard we're out. Yep. Okay. Is everybody out? Um, there was one place um, that had them ukes. Some people had a chip from Ukes, but that might have been from earlier. That's all right. I've already been there. <laughs> yeah. Are you, yep. are you guys Did you ride in or oh, well, your wife made you trailer? Next. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep. All right. You have fun. Okay? Thanks. Like for sure. My wife made the trailer. Yep. <laughs> Where'd you come from? Atlanta. I would trailer from there, too. <laughs> I probably would. Although, if I had the time, I would ride.
I'd say this event was a lot bigger than Harley had anticipated. Of course, I heard people talking that it was twice as big as before, but they always say that. Twice as big, not as big. So next, the final dealership of the challenge was Suburban Harley Davidson. On the way there, I decided I just had to say something. Wisconsin, your roads suck. Harley, your home base is right here. Give them a grant or something. Fix your roads. On a motorcycle, we feel every imperfection, pothole, and shoddy patchwork attempt. Checking in there, same story. Ran out of chips, didn't have a dealership chip, really kind of counting on the we'll put it in the mail promise at this point. Just died. Or ended. <laughs> yep. <laughs> well, congratulations. Thanks. You gotta get to the museum before three. You should be all set. Then, I was on my way for the final check-in back at the museum. And they did have the final check-in chip. So I was able to get it, plus the prize for completing the challenge, which was a 120th year anniversary branded Leatherman, which was nice. I heard Laconia was just a hat. I didn't get to finish the Laconia Push 7, so I cannot confirm nor deny that, but this is what I heard. Now, if you completed Laconia yourself, let us know what the prize was in the comments below. Then, I headed back to load up the trailer and the family 
and make the long haul back to Atlanta, Georgia. So here I am back home and I'm editing day three and I get a notification from Love on Two Wheels. If you remember on day one, I ran into him at a gas station on the way up to uh, Milwaukee and I had a little uh, clip of him uh, talking there in day one. Well, little did I know that when I went inside uh, the gas station, he then uh, filmed something about the fact that he had met me and he placed it in his video that I saw last night. So uh, in that video, he was talking about this shirt. And so this is one of our newer shirts. So I thought I would let everybody know, this is one of the Greybeard Biker shirts that's available at graybeardbiker.com. Uh, in the video that I'm editing right now, day three, uh, I actually have a section because two people talked about it uh, while I was at the event. So I kind of highlighted that there as well. But um, yeah, so this is that shirt. Hello again, Love on Two Wheels. Everybody, he's a great guy. Go over and follow him too. He's another, another uh, YouTuber. And uh, yeah. Now always, the shirts that you see me wearing in these uh, adventure vlogs, uh, in the description, I always have a link to where those are uh, in, the, uh, in the description of the video. So you can always find them easily that way. But uh, yeah, go over there, check it out. If your wife makes you trailer, let her know. <laughs> so here's the clip from the video that he did that I'm talking about here. Hey, so I'm at another stop over here. I'm at a QT this time, uh, just uh, outside of Nashville a little bit. Still making my way up to up north. And eventually my final destination is to be in Milwaukee for the Harley Davidson 120th anniversary. And while I was here, I think he went inside. I met with another YouTuber, a great beard biker. Gray beard bike. Uh, nice guy, nice family, nice to meet you. He does have his bike on a trailer though. <laughs> does have his bike on a trailer though. However, he did explain it to me. He, and he has a shirt to prove it. He actually shirt says, my wife made me trail it, which I thought that was awesome because um, that was that would have been the only explanation. But that was hey, that's cute though. I like it, I like it. I love meeting good people. This is what we do on, on these roads. We meet good people, um, we fellowship, um, just a few minutes. So hey, listen. And just like I tell you everybody to follow me, like and subscribe. Another new brother here, uh, Graybeard Biker, graybeardbiker.com. Uh, nice guy. We'll see each other up in, in Milwaukee. Until then, up on two wheels. All right, and that is it for the Milwaukee 120th anniversary Harley Davidson homecoming trip. So all three days of this, it was a very fun trip. I enjoyed it very much. Probably will go back again next year. Now, I believe the next big one that we are going to do is we're going to go to Lake of the Ozarks Bike Fest in Missouri, which comes up in September. So be on the lookout for that video. If you are planning on being up there, uh, look out for us. We'd love to say hi to you. And um, we may do some smaller uh, little local things uh, between here and there to make some videos about. But um, yeah, that's what we're doing. So until next time, stay free and don't take no...